Hi there, I'm Sarah Webb, children's writer and creative writing teacher, and I'm back at my desk for more creative bursts to share with you. So today's theme is pirates and sailors, and this week's theme is travel, adventure and exploration. And of course, Grony Whale was very well known as the Pirate Queen of Connacht. Do you remember Grony Whale from yesterday? She was a very, very brave and determined woman. There was also a Chinese pirate called Ching Shi. This is her here. And she lived a long time ago as well, like Grony Whale. So 18, uh, 1801, she married a notorious pirate called Ching Yi. She agreed to the marriage only on the condition that she would be her husband's equal and have her fair share of the loot. She took to piracy like a duck to water. <laughs> if you want to find out more about her, she is in Epic Tales of Triumph and Adventure by Simon Cheshire and illustrated by her own Fatty Burke. So I wanted to start with our Roald Dahl quote, which is, watch the world with glittering eyes. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. <laughs> Have you ever heard a song or a sea shanty or a sailor's song? So there's lots of songs and rhymes and verse about the sea and about pirates. Um, you probably know row, row, row your boat <laughs> gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! I won't scream too loud. Um, but other ones are, uh, what shall we do with the drunken sailor? That's a very famous old sea shanty. Way, hey, and up she rises. You probably know that one. And one of my favourites, I went to a concert of sea shanties quite recently in the National Maritime Museum in Dunleary. When it's open again, do visit. And they were the Hoat Singing Circle and they were doing an afternoon of sea shanties. And they sang this one, which is called Blow the Man Down. I won't sing it for you. Well, I'll sing the chorus. Blow the man down, bullies. Blow the man down. Way, hey. Blow the man down. It's fantastic. I love sea shanties. So the first thing I want you to do, and it is a bit of a challenge, is to write and sing, if you're brave enough. You can't be any worse than I am. Um, your own sea shanty. So think about adding sea names like the Irish Sea, the Atlantic, the Mediterranean, the Pacific. You can go and look up um, the oceans and the seas names. Um, and how about adding like sea birds and sea animals? And think about the kind of things you'd find on an old fashioned ship, like rigging, sails, barrels, wheels, and the weather you might find. Is it stormy? Is it fair? Is there good wind? And try and um, create your own sea shanty. You can look up sea shanties and see people singing sh sea shanties on the internet if you have access. Um, so that's your first challenge. I wanted to read you a short poem about fog because on the sea, sailors and pirates encounter a lot of fog. And I love this poem. It's by Carl Sandberg. The fog comes on little cat feet. It sits looking over harbour and city on silent haunches and then moves on. Oh, I love that idea of the fog. It's like cat. Amazing. So the second thing we're going to do is we're going to create our own sailing or pirate crew. So you're going to give it a funny twist though. So I don't know if anyone has seen the Peter Pan film, the Disney film of Peter Pan, or there's one called Hook that has Robin Williams in it as well. So this is an old copy of mine of Peter Pan, but this is an even older copy that I was given when I was a little girl. And it's called Peter Pan and Wendy, and it's by J.M. Barry. And it was given to me as a present. It's really, really old. So in Peter Pan, there's a fantastic pirate crew. So this is the pirate ship as imagined by Robert Inkpen. And it's a beautiful, beautiful atmospheric picture. And it's called the Jolly Roger. So I'm going to read you just the opening of chapter 14, the pirate ship from Peter Pan. One green light squinting over Kid's Creek, which is near the mouth of the pirate river, 
marked where the brig, the Jolly Roger, lay low in the water, a rakish looking craft, foul to the hull. Every beam in her detestable, like ground strewn with mangled feathers. She was the cannibal of the seas and scarce needed that watchful eye because she floated immune in the horror of her name. Ah, oh, beautiful. So I want you to create your own pirate crew now, or sailor's crew, but with a funny twist. And I want you to write the story or draw a picture or both. So your crew could be a crew of dogs. Why not? It could be a crew of cats. It could be a crew of babies, a crew of children, a crew of witches, a crew of vampire teenagers. You decide. Oh, and there's a super, actually speaking of vampires, there's a super series of pirate books called The Vampires by Justin Slumper. So for a kind of about nine, ten plus, well worth looking at. So give your crew a brilliant name, give the boat a great name and get writing. So that is your challenge. Now your third challenge is about whales. You knew I'd bring it up, didn't you? Um, <laughs> As some of you may know by now, I am whale obsessed. It is true. So, but sailors did meet a lot of whales because they spent a lot of time on the oceans. Um, so, I want you to write a poem inspired by whales. Um, so, I'm going to read your poem, first of all, about a whale, by James K. Baxter. And this book's illustrated by Kieran Reinhardt. And this is the picture of the whale here. It's called The Big Black Whale. I wish I were a big black whale out in the deep green sea. He blows like a hose through the top of his nose as happy as a whale can be. And the sailors look pale when they hear his tail go smack, smack, smack on a big wave's back out in the deep green sea. So I have a suggested structure for your whale poem that you can follow if you like. So you can call it whales and you can start like this as big as and then you add your finish to the sentence the color of you add your bit they describe something they do on the <laughs> say something they're doing um, and you can finish it with but I've never seen a whale and you can describe something that you've never seen a whale do so that is your third challenge. So I hope you have enjoyed the Creative Burst today. As always, I'd love to see your work, your drawings and your writing. So do post them either on Twitter or Instagram. I'd love to see them. And we'll be back tomorrow with more Creative Bursts. And I'll leave you with my favourite quote by Einstein. Creativity is intelligence having fun. Get writing. <laughs>